Hey folks, G Hondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode 68. In the last episode, I got the electric boilers going, and frankly, they were garbage. So we have switched back to basic boilers here, uh, and I think I have something badly wrong here, because this one does not seem to be running. What is happening here? Why are you not receiving coal? Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> okay, coal comes out from there. Is there something happening on this pipe that's bad? Oh no, you started generating there. Oh, you just aren't getting enough water. Oh, okay. That's an entirely different story. Water we should have like tons of, right? Yeah, we have lots and lots of water, so why are you not getting all the water you could possibly want and more? Maybe I should connect them so you can supplement each other when and if needed. Yeah, so this thing can help you whenever you need it. Yes, now you're okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So this will take a little bit to spin back up, but then it should be totally fine. And power should come back into the... I was about to say into the green, but it actually just goes white when it's happy. But either way. She seemed totally happy. You refill basically instantly. Okay. Alright, excellent. Uh, meanwhile, we are researching the next piece of ship armor. I don't know how much of a combat bonus that gives, but hopefully it's enough to let us do some more exploration stuff. And, oh yeah, that was the other thing we did yesterday. Right near the end, I ripped out this whole mess that was here of the uh, quartz processing into sand and turned them all into larges and just frankly cleaned it up because this mess I had here, yeah, that was just bad. <laughs> it was just bad. So that looks like we're not producing enough... Do you not send fast enough? Do I need a better belt here? Which in turn means I probably should give you a better belt as well. I guess it more depends on how fast we can drain it off the ship, but either way, this should never have to wait. Yeah, no, that's definitely better. Okay. And at least... Yeah, this this part's all conveyor too, so it's fine. Okay. So yeah, so now we actually will have good amounts of sand for the first time in a long time. Which means our glass production here should be... Yes, much, much better. Don't seem to be waiting on anything ever, so. Yeah, glass is good, which in turn means we can build more solar panels. And I guess also the um, household of goods was waiting on them as well, so that's probably where a lot of the unity was happening, was not being able to keep up with them. Okay. Alright, well, things look pretty stable, so I think I'm safe to pause and wait for this research. So I'll be back, assuming nothing blows up, when the research is done or close enough. Okay, we are back. Research will pop, yeah, pretty much any second now. Um, 
while I was paused, everything here seemed pretty stable, nothing concerned me. Uh, you'll notice I have almost no concrete left. Well, I spent my time pasting down all of that. <laughs> uh, obviously, some of it's been built, but not much of it. But yeah, I basically just went around and pasted these surfaces all over the place. Gave me something to do, gives them something to do, so it's all good. Beautiful. Let's get you some armor upgrades here. Okay, so that's only going to add 40 to the battle score. That's actually not spectacularly good. I mean, obviously we'll do it, but it's not spectacularly good. And the other thing I know, so I'm going to let that finish first, but uh, there was a couple of places that apparently I could have gotten to. Well, maybe not that one, because I don't think there's a path to it that's safe, but... Like this one, for example, I don't know why I never went here. I don't know, I obviously just missed it. So that was kind of silly, but... Anyway. Yep. Your other armor plating. Very good. So that'll bring you up to 560. I don't think that's going to be enough to do anything over here. I mean, that's close, but it's not quite there. Alright, so we'll just end up going here then. That's fine. Uh, what is the next? Oh, where are we here? Yeah, we just did ship armor, so the next up is an engine upgrade. In order to get that though, you require us to have moved into Lab 4 already. Okay, so that's going to be a while. Fair enough. So we'll have to just go with that. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop over here, because there's absolutely no reason not to. As far as we know, there's no danger there unless the square itself has some. Yeah, it looks like we're still short. We're going to have to get the weapons upgrade before we can do anything else. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. So what? Let's see here. Yes, we have that research lab 4 done. So you would want me next to get into smelting gold. Ooh, you put down gold surfaces. Yikes. <laughs> Talk about decadence. Hmm. Full on toxic slurry. Delightful. That, uh... Doesn't sound real great, does it? <laughs> anyway, uh, how did we do here? Okay, so that one was completely safe. Just some stuff, no big deal. And then there's nothing else past that. Okay. Yeah, it's just those two that I saw the there and the one we just did. Actually, why can't we go to this one through, from this side? This would be safe. Yeah, we should be allowed to go to here once you're back and refueled. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. I don't see any reason we shouldn't go do that. Yeah, let's keep looking at this gold here. Or is there anything here we should grab ahead of time? I wonder if that's a, an entirely separate building or if that's just an upgrading of the threes. Having said that, where do we ever need that much storage? Currently, anyway, we certainly don't. Okay, so instead of just dumping... Well, I don't think we're dumping wastewater anyway, right?
Well, maybe we are, actually. Where do we actually make waste water? Right there. So we must be at least slightly processing it if I've got a pipe bringing this over here somewhere. Oh yeah, okay, we already are doing that. So we don't really need to worry about that. Is this just somehow a better version? I suppose that lets us have sludge instead. I'm not sure that's necessarily better. And all that leads to is a different way of dealing with brine, not interested. Okay. Better glass making. I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing to get. It's not super relevant though, I don't think. Better chem plant. Currently, we're not really using our chem plants for much. Like something, I guess the graphite and paper. So we, okay. Yeah. So I could see some value in that. Oh, even bigger cargo depots. I might be able to compress some of these ships down. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of really neat stuff here. But I think we're going to start with getting gold so we can start moving towards this stuff. So let's at least get this on the board. And just a whole pile of electronics. But yeah, we cannot quite fight that stuff. Okay. Yeah, because there's no other upgrades we have that would... that are even available, so... Okay. Unless, of course, you can win a fight you're ever so slightly below. I mean, I could take this 560 and try it against one of these 610s, just for science. We know we win ties, but do we win ones that were ever so slightly below? Maybe? Is it worth trying? Sure it is. For science. <laughs> Pain for science. I like it. Hydrogen is actually full. Absolutely no reason to keep draining power. Water side's totally fine, but no reason to drain the power for it. Oh, and on the subject of gold, while I was looking around and basically doing all the surfacing, I also was looking here, and we actually do have a little gold patch over here. As far as I can tell, it's the only one. Like, I didn't see anyone else flickering when I moved around and toggled. So I think it's just the one. But we will have our own access to gold that we could dig out. I think I'm probably more likely to just get it through a contract off somebody. Somebody had... Yeah, it was you. But at least to get going, we may end up digging some of that gold out ourselves. Alright, let's see how we do here. So we are technically slightly weaker. Okay, so you can barely win ones that you're just a little bit short of. I mean, we're going to take... we took a ton of damage, so there's going to be huge amounts of repairs, but... Uh, that's very good to know. That's very good to know. So we're not completely stuck yet. We can at least do the six tens. No. Sure, if that really helps. Oh no, we can get a rock mine and get to that settlement. Yeah, we can't come at it from that side, but we can come at it from this side. Okay. First, though, we have an absolute ton of repairs to do. <laughs> oh, you 
bags. Science is expensive. <laughs> Science sure does get expensive. It's gonna just decimate our steel. Yowzas. Yowzas. I mean, it's definitely running, so... I guess the option would be rip out this storage and replace it with a bigger one, so at least in the downtimes where we're not using a lot of steel, we can still be gathering it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I was going to say, there's one single square there that didn't catch. Interesting. We want unit storage. Gigantic. What was I doing with this pipe? <laughs> oh, probably to make room for that conveyor. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. This thing is possibly going to be blocking this ramp a little bit, but... Yeah. Uh, which I guess we could move down just a little. A single square difference, but it might be enough. So I may need to redo these. Outputs as well. That's fine, we can absolutely do that. We can absolutely do that. Actually, if this is already a complete another mess, why don't we just let it be a mess? Yeah, I mean that's hideous, but it's fine. But there we go, that would be much, much, much better. Well, obviously won't help for right now, because we're chewing through steel, but at least now in the down times, we'll have way better storage for it. That means we'll have more of a buffer before the next set, right? Okay. I guess, actually, now that our sand is better and our glass is better, we can probably do some of these, right? Although they take steel as well, so maybe we'll wait just a little bit. How close are you now? Oh, you're completely done. Okay. That actually wasn't that bad. Then yes, we can go ahead and upgrade one more of these. It doesn't, in the slightest measure, matter which one. But we only have enough glass to do one at a time, so that's fine. Alright, well then yeah, let's try and get over here so we can get out this settlement. Again, it's a marginal fight, but we, we know we can do them. Fascinating building animation. 
and this is on you know maximum game speed like this is just an insane amount I guess because it takes just so much glass right so it does make sense that it would take a very very long time to build but anyway it's kind of nuts He didn't take anywhere near as much damage, so there's clearly a lot of random factor involved too, so we actually could theoretically lose some of these fights, but that one we did much better. Alright, so that's fine. Yes, we officially have access to this rock mine. Do I want a rock mine? I know I'm using rocks, or at least I was, I don't know if I still am, but I was crushing rocks down here. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, technically I can see value in it, I just don't know how relevant it is. If that's worth a, all the workers and a cargo, a dedicated cargo slot. Well, I guess you have room. You're not doing anything. Hmm. I'll think about it. It's not uh, immediately urgent. All the electronics, that's most of the mechanical parts. I just have to drag all that steel over. Which apparently is doing doing my trucks tatty and maybe I need some more trucks, yeah. You'll be a little busier than before dragging that stuff over, but then they'll help. Well, you instantly drop back to stable anyway. Several idols. Okay. Yeah, so it's not so bad. And technically, you haven't even finished one of them yet, and they're already not that bad, so. Yeah, you'll be fine. These will take quite a while to build anyway because of the uh, the yellow parts that we're constantly throwing over here. But anyway, that's fine. Okay, you are ready to go. Now, hopefully, you actually do sail this way and not this way. If I start seeing you go this way, I'll have to stop you and send you back and try again more explicitly, but hopefully you're clever enough to go this way where it's safe. Okay, yes. That's good. Okay, so we have generated a fresh batch of glass, which means you should be ready to go. Yep. Officially explore it, that's fine. Not a problem, I can be patient, I'm really good at that. <laughs> there we go, okay. Yep, so you gave us free stuff, you're headed back, that's glorious. Okay. So you do not have quick trades, you only have contracts. Oh, for uranium! Oh, interesting. Definitely not stuff I can give you yet, but that's certainly neat. That would be a nice alternative to... Where was it? can't remember where it was now. Yeah, here. So if for whatever reason you couldn't get this one or didn't want to use the workers in a mine, that would be a good way to get uranium. Very cool. Okay, well, I think we're going to call things there for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. 
And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.